It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. Hello everyone, it's your boy Ski, and happy Thanksgiving. And on this Turkey Day, I'm here delivering you a video that y'all been asking for a long time. The official Dynatuber tier list. As most of you know, the Dynatuber tier list has been in the works for a very long time, and is the introduction into the Dynatuber podcast, The Prehistoric Profiles. And I'm so excited to show you all this video that might make me lose a couple friendships with other content creators. Oh well. Now before we begin, I just want to shed some light on a few of the criteria that I have for this list. First and foremost, these people need to have at least done YouTube for or Twitch for at least half a year or more, with a few exceptions for either growing a popularity in a short time or getting the attention of me or other creators. Number two, I had to at least know some of these creators in my recent times of doing YouTube and at least had some sort of experience with them. However, though this really doesn't matter, but in some terms it does. And finally, channel performance. That might sound like an overall view count or whatever, but in this ranking, that's not necessarily the case. The channels need to at least have some actual effort in their videos, good upload currency, some sort of community, and a general channel polish. Now since we actually went over the criteria, now we can get to the real meat of this video, the tier list itself. So, I'll lend a hand to the not edited version of me. Ski? Thanks, Pasky. And yes, hello, hello everyone, this is now Real Time Ski, and I'm here to go ahead and put together about 70 of these people into this tier maker here. Now, as you can tell, there's new no F tier. And you may be thinking, why is there no F tier? Well, I'm going to tell you right straight up right now that there is no bad picks in any of these categories or any of these characters or any of these people. They're not even characters. What the fuck am I even talking about anymore? Anyway, we're going to jump straight into this list. Now, the first person I want to point uh, my attention to real quick is that there is a few people in here, and I just went ahead and figured this out. There is at least about maybe two to th like one other person that should be here. Uh, I'll, and I'll put them in the honorable mentions at the very end. And I guess I'll just put them in right now since, you know, why not? Uh, and that is Sweet Fox Wings. And I had her logo up on the... <laughs> on my tabs and I totally forgot to save her. So I'm very, very sorry that you're not on the list. But if you would be, I would put you right in the good old S tier because you do sculpting and all your sculpts are very fantastic and I would like one eventually one day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, otherwise you would be in there if you are watching and you're probably not, but that's okay. Anyway, um, we're gonna go ahead and dive right into these people right now. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of people uh, on this list. So let's get straight into all of them. Um, so I think we'll first start off with the park builders so we can get them out of the way uh, and then we'll go ahead and move into whoever we have so actually no let's first do news people um, so let's first start off with Ravenous now Ravenous kind of had a legacy to where he was the big hound honcho when it comes down to a lot of the news and then later IL updates kind of took that in and then she put that her she put that into her own little um, thing now. It kind of like took up the mantle. So really, that's how it would really be, but because of the legacy that um, Ravenous left, be left behind, I'm going to put him in A. Good old Solid A, we'll start right off there, and we'll put Isle News Update, since she's brand new, into the kind of the whole thing. She's been very, very good at keeping though up with um, all the news. She's been very good with it. I didn't say that. Um, and if you do need to know anything that is on going on in the aisle um, discussion or on anything that, you know, is in phase two, whatever, go to her channel. She's fantastic at what she does. So I think we'll go ahead and start her off in, hmm, I'll probably put her in, yeah, why not S? Yeah, we'll do S. 
because like yeah again she is in my opinion the aisle guy the aisle guy the aisle gal should i say so yeah if you need anything from the aisle news related you go to her so let's see who else we have here that is kind of news related i'm trying to see who we have here got a lot of people <laughs> um I think those are the really only two news channels. Yeah, I think those really are. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's actually try and find someone else. Um, let's go for the park builders. So, uh, best in slot, we'll start off with him. I'll put best, where would I put best? Um, oh, where would I put Mr. Slot? I'll put, mm, okay. I'll put slot in A. And with Swerve and Evo, because I know people are going to be talking about them, I'll put them in... Hmm. Hmm. I'll put both of them in B. Where is Swerve there? No, this you are. I'll put them in A. I'll put both, all, all of them in A. Um, I think Slot, out of all three is the better creator. He's been here for a longer time and he has a much bigger legacy. While Swerve and Evo kind of uh, rose up through a lot of um, sort of sort of from a lot of the Jurassic things that they do, mostly Swerve because he does cover mostly Jurassic content now. He doesn't really do much of the other content, but mostly it's Jurassic Park or World or Camp Cretaceous or anything like that. But he has grown significantly and same with Evo. And out of all these people, Evo, in my opinion, is the best park builder in out of anyone here. I think she does a fantastic job with her parks. Best in slot could be there up there too. Uh, Jin's a very good park builder too, but she doesn't really cover park builders. So that's why she's not in this category. Uh, and then the person that will follow them up is going to be Shadows. But I think Shadows is a little bit below them. But he has also gotten really good. He's becoming more of the Mr. Beast of the Dino Tubers. He's been doing a lot, a lot of live action things. He's been doing it when he did his Isle News videos. Um, he's been doing it uh, nowadays. Right now, he's in a pretty good space. But again, I think because that these three were here longer, he doesn't. He, I don't think he can match up to the scale of what those three can do. And again, he's not a park builder, but in the case when it comes down to a lot of the Jurassic content, he, I would say, like, is slightly below them, which makes him go into B tier. And again, that's good in general, um, because S tier is, in my opinion, like, the best and, like, the, the most unique. A is, like, great stuff. B is good stuff um, and, you know, just fun to watch anything like that. C is obviously the middle ground. Uh, and then D is, like, do some more work and E's, like, not great at all and needs pretty big work. Um, so that's kind of like a good little understand there. Um, so let's see, let's do some, some other people. Um, oh, I totally forgot about Dino Nerds. Uh, Dino Nerds would be uh, B. When it comes down to Ravenous and um, Isle News updates, he gets severely outclassed, like severely outclassed. So that's why he goes there. All right, that's why he goes there. So let's see here. Um, be the next one. Let's go for air conditioner. Air conditioner has been here for a very long time. However, though, he has given up on YouTube for a long time as well. Probably more so than he's probably been doing anything. But um, he is one of the OG Isle YouTubers out there. Um, but and recently he started to make a comeback into. Every, um, he was playing a Rima recently. Uh, he also played a little bit of Man Eater, I think, too. But I would put him in S because of the legacy he had, but I'm kind of inclined to do so because of how long he took to upload or have consistent uploads. And again, the most important thing is channel performance and, um, and everything like that. So in this tier list, so I think I'm just going to put him into A tier. But again, the legacy that he has does uh, makes him up to that point. Just the upload thing just takes him out of a, uh, S tier. Uh, let's see, um, Framed Llama, we'll do him next. Framed. 
uh, friend that you don't know is actually the one who made my outro. He's a fantastic um, animator. I think he's the big, the, the lead animator of out of any of the Dinotubers here. He makes a lot of stuff for Riot uh, nowadays, which is kind of cool. And Riot kind of gave him that boost in step and popularity, which I think is actually pretty cool too. Um, I think he goes an S. And because that he does animation, which is like mostly short film though, like a uh, short film, well, I think, short, no, short film filmmaker, my bad. Um, I think he goes up to there. I think out of all of them, he is the best. Uh, the best anime. Uh, let's go for our two... No, actually, no, we'll leave them there. Um, hmm. Let's go for... How about we go for... Um, let's do one that I don't think you guys actually know who he is. Um, Augustus Bla... No, not, it's not Augustus. Uh, whatever. It's Exodus Bla Blaze. Augustus Blaze. I don't know. But this guy... I found him recently, and I think he's actually a really good YouTuber. Um, now, he's not very much a dino YouTuber. He has played the Isle, and he has played Primal Carnage before. But, um, the thing is that, um, that he does nowadays, which I think is really cool, because obviously you can tell by the dragon icon he plays in Age of Ashes, which... If you could not tell from my logo, I also do Century Age of Ashes, but eventually when the game comes out, I have actually a Century video that should be up by the time before, maybe before this one has aired. Uh, yeah, before this one aired. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to check that out, please check that out, pretty fun. <laughs> um, but I think out of all of them, he's going to, in the DinoTuber category, because I do think he could, he is a, a DinoTuber in my eyes. I think he's going to be probably, either me and him are going to be the main source of Century, uh, main content. So, I kind of, and I kind of also wanted to put them here because I would think, what do you guys think uh, is really a century kind of down to two based material? I guess it's not about dinosaurs, but it is about uh, dragons. So, I don't know. But I think he does a pretty good job so far with his content. His logo is really, really good. His name is pretty badass. Um, and just has a, I think he's just a really cool guy in general. Um, so, I think we're going to go for B tier. I think that fits, right? All right, let's see also we have here um man we're, we're going off a lot of people um let's go ahead and get skinova out of the way skinova is easily s tier now you may be wondering why skinova well out of a lot of these people here skinova compared to even me and pesky and maybe some other people i think he's the biggest critic out of their one here but that's i think that's a good thing though um uh, because he can shed light on things more than I don't really see. And if you see his tier list videos, they are by far the best uh, tier list videos I've seen at all of any time sort of uh, gaming media. I think he's, out of anyone here, the best tier maker. He could probably do this tier better than me. Uh, but yeah, I think he's a really good creator. And uh, yeah, I would, as I would say that he would be in the nice, good old ranking that we like to say S. Caesar is also going in S. Now, why Caesar, if you may ask? Well, Caesar is the only person here who actually does the major... Well, actually, not, well, not actually does, but is a part of a development team. She was... Her uh, blood trailer for update number two for the Isle of Remo was so good that actually she got promoted to work on the game as the video editor and I think uh, clap and a half for that one and a good old cheers to you because she managed to actually do a lot of work on and by the way if you have not seen that video or any of her work that was mostly in the aisle trailers please 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 watch them they are really good and really well edited and that's why also up from the depths is going in that category too because come these two are the best Besides Neddy the Noodle, because he's also really good at it, he's just not in this tier list. Um, because he mostly does Ark, and yes, Ark's a dinosaur, kind of a dinosaur game, but I don't really want to do that much Ark YouTubers in here, mostly just the ones that does, like, the Isle, Path of Titan, Species Vito, whatever the hell other games we have. But, um, Depths Cinematics, that goes to pa that goes to Path of Titans, or the Ark, uh, Arcs of Above, these two are the best when it comes down to cinematics, in my eye. So that's why they go there. And that's also what makes them, you know, pretty unique in general. Um, I'm gonna put the podcast just up in S tier. It still hasn't started yet, but I'm just gonna put it in there just because, again, no, it's just something completely unique. 
Um, so I'm just gonna put it there for now. Uh, we'll see how we know what happens. I don't know if that actually makes it sound like it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> I promise I could be bad. Uh, um, let's see. So let's go for some low tier characters. Um, AK Games and Nico the Taco are going to E. They have not uploaded in forever. Both channels, in my opinion, are not that great at all. Uh, and really, I mean, they're the reason why they would probably not be in F2 is because I interacted with them and they're pretty cool. But otherwise, just no, like they they need serious work and they're prob and I think both uh, channels are done making content, so that's why they go in the E tier. But however, though, I think those are our only two E tier uh, people. So don't worry, there's um probably don't worry anyone, no one else is probably gonna go in the D tier. Uh, not the D tier, the E tier. My bad. <laughs> Uh, let's do those some people in the D tier. Um, Kane, he's good at what he does, but the thing is, I don't. His channel doesn't have anything unique. His, um, you know, mostly it's just like, I don't know. It's just very, very, very weird. And also, one thing I do have to point out: why is Kane's um, thumbnail very similar to O Train's? I, I don't know, just something a little weird that just came into mind, but they almost have like the exact same picture of what seems to be the Indoraptor. I don't know. But, yeah, it's like, it, I don't know. Just, there's something about Kane that I just doesn't... There's something about Kane that doesn't click with me. And that's why he's in D tier. Um, but he is better than Nico and AK could ever be. So, that's a good plus. Um... Let's see who else would probably be in that tier. Um, Dead Fox would also be in that tier, I would say. Again, D is like trying to think of unique. I don't, whenever I see, saw their videos, and whenever I see their channel usually, I don't see unique. That's the thing, then that's the biggest troubling I have with them. They just don't scream out unique. Same with Pryor, not a lot of uniqueness. Um, that's just the kind of thing, like they're just, a lot of those channels are kind of not, not unique. Salty Man's the same thing. Salty Man does a good job what he does, but the, also his video quality could be better. You know, the video quality on his videos are just not that great. Um, Moss Claw, kind of the same thing. You know, and again, all these channels are good. They're fine the way how they are. They just need some tuning up. And I think that's what really holds them back. Same with, you know, Oh, it, oh, I totally forgot his name. God damn it. I just found about this guy, um, and I just wanted to quote him, but I have seen his channel a little bit, but I can't really say that much about him. But I'll just put him in D for now. But yeah, like, all these channels just need work. That's the thing. All these channels need work. JS Gaming is the same thing, you know? We're just hammering into the D tiers right now. I'll give a break for D tier at the moment, uh, because we already have a bunch of people already in there. But again, D tier people... Don't worry about your channels, they're fine the way how they are, they just need some tuning up. And then eventually, you know, they could spawn into something a little bigger than themselves. Again, but nothing bad. Mad Dad is, I would say, we'll go to some streamers, Mad Dad is C. Just a generalistic, good streamer. A generalistic streamer that does a lot of streams every single day, and has grown his channel quite a bit. Which is good for him, good, good on him. Uh, but yeah. Otherwise, just again, generalistic uh, uh, streamer, and that's good. Oprah Winry is the, um, Mad Dad, but better, and that's a little bit with some of these. But he's just Mad Dad, but better. Same kind of with Simo. Just Simo's just, in my opinion, Simo is better than both of them combined. Um, and that's not for me trying to favor him. It's more or less because I, well, one, I experience a lot more with Simo than Oprah really, and I think I probably know a little bit more than I could, but, and that doesn't mean that Oprah's a bad streamer at all. Um, I just think that, in general, that Simo is just better than Oprah. Um, but we're not gonna bring Simo at the moment, we'll just, we'll shelve him for the moment. Elmako, it's kind of the same thing with, um, with Shadows. Uh, not Shadows, though, um, <laughs> not Shadows, uh, what is it, uh, uh, Mad Dad, just a good streamer that does a pretty good job what he does. His theme is really good because it's, it's a lot different than anyone else here. It's a very Nordic theme, which I, I do admire. Um, and he's just a great guy in general. He's fantastic. If anything, Square told me that uh, Mako is fantastic. He, she didn't tell me shit. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Big Red Ben's another streamer. I'll put him in B. He's been doing this for a long time. This, rodeo, this rodeo, and he's been in here for well. 
little bit, I think a little bit longer than both Mad Dad and Amako. Uh, but yeah, I, I have a lot of good experience with him, and besides, uh, um, Big Red Ben is just fantastic in, in every single way. He's just a very fun Southern man. <laughs> with a hella good beard, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Scope OG, I'm going to put with the same tier with both Oprah and Big Red Ben. I think they go, like, literally Scope and Oprah are, in my opinion, just, like, almost pure opposites of each other, or maybe even the same thing. So that's why they go together. Uh, let's see, any other streamers you can probably do at the moment? Um, I don't think... No, I don't think really need to do any of those streamers. Uh, Steiny. Mm, hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, I'll put Shiny in D for now. Uh, but I think I'm going to give. Hmm. No. Yeah, I think I'll put Shiny in D. Um, actually, no, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He can. He does stand out a little bit more than these guys down here. Um, but otherwise, though, good work so far. Um, I'll put Netai in this. Uh, Netai in the same thing. Same boat as Sine, just stands out a little bit better than these guys. Just again, and they get good content too. Um, uh, Squish, I'm gonna put in the B tier. Actually, no, I'm gonna put Squish in C. Um, because I think that Sack the Soul does go in the D tier. Just I don't really see anything. I really don't see anything special. And to be totally honest. Squish, in my opinion, is better than, is like a better uh, Sacrosol. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Oh, I totally forgot about Islander. He's kind of a new channel, but we'll we'll leave him with K-Man and J72 because I have some words to talk about them. Um, let's see. Riot? I'm going to put Riot. Riot would be... Hmm, where would Riot go? Riot really gave Frame... Framed a, um, a step up, which is really cool. Also, he's just a fantastic, he's just a big kaiju fanatic, which I think is really funny. Um, so, kind of similar with a lot of the, like, Spidey fam. So I'm gonna put him in A tier. Um, actually, no, I'll put him in B. I'll put him in B. There we go. That seems right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that seems right. Yeah, I think, um, Riot is just, get good channel overall. Have a fun time watching him. And, uh, yeah, that's really all you need to know. Uh, Silentia, I'll give her C. Um, again, just a good generalistic channel that just does, you know, stuff. Let's see. Um, um, let's see who else we got here. Uh, now you may be wondering that I, what I have here is the boys. The boys are basically a group of people that kind of do everything the same. And... Salty Man, I think, is the start of the boys, but he's a little bit not as prominent as them, but uh, that's why I put him first. But I think the boys themselves, and I'm going to say the boys out right now uh, in the post, but yeah, boys, the boys, um, which, you know, is where Murphy, Dino comes in, Papa Drago, uh, Major Paleo Gaming, Dapper, um, Ricker, um, let me hear the... No. The boys in general are just really, really talented people, if anything else. The boys are just like, again, I would say, and I'm going to put all of them in one tier. Um, the boys would go to B to C, depends which one they go. But just the boys that we're not counting right now are all, in my opinion, in C tier. C tier or D tier below. Um... But the ones we're gonna stand up more might be slightly higher, or just in B tier. Uh, and again, in the boys category, uh, you have a lot of damn. And if you don't know who are the boys, who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Dapper, Murphy Dino, Obnoxious Bulfy, Orca, Raging Raptor, Dota with a Jetpack, Papa Drago, Wee Man, Richter, Gentleman Rex, Blah Blah, Kaz, Gritch, Major Paleo Gaming, Captain Brooks. 
and Nightmare Spine. I think all these guys are just in general, it's like just again, kind of similar to everyone else. They just do their own, uh, they just, you know, do content and this is very general and just enjoyable in, in general. I very much compare these people very much to HDO Delirious's kind of content creator group. Those guys, if you don't know, mostly do just get, they're just a big content creator group that are all friends. They kind of do the same thing together. Um, so, you know, that's kind of what I group all of them together in that sort of way. So that, so in my opinion, they all go in there. But how are the boys are going to group right now, in my opinion, are more stand out to and more stand out -ish in the ones that you know are in that group uh there's a few i actually forgot to mention there uh by the way though yeah we're ones we're gonna mention right now and we're gonna go through all the boys are all of them are more stand out ish than you know than the rest of them uh we're gonna start off with murphy dino murphy i think is a the murphy is the leader of the bunch you know him well and he's finally back to kick some tail there to quote from the donkey Kong rap uh murphy most is the most standout ish uh he's one the most popular two he uh his content i think is the uh, by far the best coded she, he does anim, uh, not animation. Um, his content is very well done. The performance, his uh, viewer base is really, really good for what it is. Uh, and in general, just in, uh, just again, the leader and the be just the best one out of all of them. Uh, Make this. I actually gonna put in C. She is. I again, she's more Santa than the ones in the boys. But I think she. But in, she's a little bit lower class or just um, outclassed by the other um, creators in this group. Uh, Obnoxious Wolfie is in that group as well. He does a little bit more on his own, but unfortunately his channel got deleted, so that kind of sucks. But either way though, uh, Wolfie is in B. I think I, I, he's, a, it, he's basically, think of it this way. Think what we were saying about with, um, with Isle News and Ravenous. Wolfie was the predecessor to Murphy, and Murphy is the successor in that way. Major Paleo Gaming, I'm going to put in B. He's a very good damn artist, just saying. Um, and in general, I think he is in, uh, in general, he's fantastic and does good content. Nightmare Spleen is kind of the same way, uh, but I'm going to put Nightmare Spleen just a little bit below uh, them both. And Papa Drago, I'm going to put in the B tier because compared to these two, he does animation. Um, and again, that's something unique that Major also has, just something, you know, to set them up higher than, you know, the other guys. Uh, Kichi or, uh, or Kuo. General Six Streamer? Is it, yeah, General Six Streamer does her job well. Uh, but again, could use some work, and that's why she's not in the B tier. Uh, let's see who else we have here. Red Kitty. I'm gonna put in B. Good editor. Uh, just, yeah, good editing. Good editing. Actually, no, yeah. Good editing, but could use better in the, in the upload schedules, I think. Uh, but either way, though, not bad. Not bad. And you also did some tier list videos, which I kind of scoffed at the original. Really. This is Red Kitty's other um, icon, but I'll just leave that there. Uh, because, you know, Jerry ranked him. Uh, Spidey Fan. Hmm. The upload schedule brings him down. He's a good guy and all, but yeah, the upload sped schedule does bring him down a couple notches, which is a big shame. But other way though, he did he does good content, so there you go. But yeah, and uh, I don't know. I just I'm trying to think of words to say. Uh, dragons. I'm gonna ring Cav and um and um Shifty here. Both of them, both of them, do are like a duality. Uh, like you're that's like a Batman or Robin situation. However, though, Dragons was here longer, and that and the montage of shit post thing that Dragons did was evolved into what um what they do now. So kind of like what we were talking about earlier, he's the pre and the predecessor, they're the successors. Um, so I'm gonna put Dragons because he's been longer. I'm gonna put him in B. I'll put Shifty in C, and I'll put Cav in B because Shifty between all three of them is the less most popular and is the less time edited i think out of all of them i could be wrong but i do know cav is higher than dragons in my opinion all right let's see also we have here uh let's talk about let's get all right let's get a big name out of the way um 
let's get Insomnia out of the way. Insomnia, everyone's probably gonna figure out like, oh, does he go into all the way to E because of his clickbait, or does he go up to S because he's super popular? I think he goes right in the A tier. A for Insomnia. Um, this is just a bunch of, of just mostly does dinosaur content, but also does like some Monica, does other things here with other games. Uh, but, and if you want to, you can say all you want about Insomnia. And I totally understand. I do not approve of any clickbait, what anyone does, because it is a shit marketing ploy, but it also is something to help the marketing ploy in a crappy way. But otherwise, though, you can't, to get, you can't really give Insomnia shit because literally he's the second largest channel out of all these people. So really, he goes up there. Another big name that I think we should get out of the way is 2v2v. Not as big as these guys, but I think he goes into V. Kind of this is content similar to me. Very much like so. He just, but mostly it's just all silent. Doesn't really, he doesn't use any voice or nothing. Um, but it's like an, a long post shit post, a, a long term shit post video status to where they're edited pretty well. Um, but they're just long term in some like what a shit post would be. That is just highly edited, but very short. If you kind of get that drift, what I'm trying to say. Um, let's talk about who else we have. We've got a good amount of people in, left. Um, let's go for Mystics. Mystics. I'm gonna put her in C. Could use some work, but otherwise, great last. Um, and yeah, that's really all I have to say. And the same, I'm gonna say with Creed. Both of them go into C, I think. Um, again, great guy, but does have a, a shit upload schedule, so that's why kind of they're in that sort of way. Uh, let's see what else we have. Let's talk about Beaver. Beaver's S. The reason why Beaver's S is just because there's no definition to him. There's no nothing. He, and besides being the most popular um, YouTuber out of any of these people, he's just the gaming beaver. That's all you need to say. He's the gaming beaver. He does what he does, and just you have to shut up about it. Kind of like what you said, similar to Anthonia, but Anthonia doesn't have as much iconic see. I, um, is not as much, in my in my eye, iconic as what the beaver has done in the past. James is a fantastic, ed um, I don't think he edits his own videos, but either way, though, fantastic creator in general. Meaty Lock, we're gonna put Meaty in the B tier. He's basically an anti Infamia in some senses, I would say. Uh, but he has a kind of a crap um, upload schedule, but either way though, really charismatic guy, like super charismatic. Uh, but yeah, he's just a great guy in general, uh, and that's why he's up there that much. And plus, he has a pretty big legacy too with, the, with these types of games, so that's why he's there. Uh, o Train, we're gonna get you out of my my best friend on the site. I'm gonna give him a B because he has a little bit more standoutish personality compared to these two down, like to these uh, ones down here, and definitely down here, absolutely down here. I think he's in that good spot, but the upload schedule and kind of the way how a lot of the stuff he has is very reminiscent to other creators. And by like, and I'm not saying like he's a ripoff or anything like that. Absolutely not. Um, when it comes down to because it is oddly similar that they're the same exact image here, and he has this kind of the same kind of splatter paint sort of artwork when it comes down to here uh, with Beaver. But I can't put him anywhere higher, but just because for a few little things that I noticed over the time. But either way though. Fantastic guy, and please watch his stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see, else what we have here. Uh, let's talk about. All right, let's talk about Tiger Tato. Tiger Tato, damn, damn good editor. He's basically anti Moza. He also has a really cool and this is um, national uh, nationality compared to everyone else. He's complete. His nationality is completely different from everyone else, which kind of makes him stand out and what makes him memorable. Uh, but either way, though. Nothing too special, but he does have fantastic editing work. So again, please watch his shit. He's really, really good. Uh, but again, upload schedule recently kind of died him down. If it would have been more, he would definitely gone higher. But either way though, good stuff. Good, 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 good stuff. Uh, now let's see here. Let's talk about Beer War. Let's get him on the way. Beer War is going in A. The Legacy. The dino battles, the memeosity between all of his videos. It's just, it's kind of someone with, uh, with Beaver. It's just Beaver, and you have fun with the channel. 
he doesn't- That's the funny thing about B-War. He doesn't give a shit what he uploads. He will mean the fuck out of it till that thing died down. And that's why he's up there. Because he's just so memorable. And he, I think he's probably the most memorable out of anyone even here to begin with, besides Beaver, of course. Uh, let's see who else we have here. Um, let's talk about Depp. Let's talk about Depp. Depp. Um, where would Depp go? Kind of similar content to what I do. A little bit more long-term, though. Not as many cuts or whatever like that, uh, if I would say. Definitely not a lot of cuts. Um, very charismatic guy. Very slow to the next attitude. I very much like that. Um, just in general, good guy. Good channel. The beat here. Uh, let's go. All right. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about Islander, JS Gaming, and Feature Caveman. All three of these people, and before we even go into them, I'm actually just going to put, uh, actually, I'll put, I'm going to rank, um, D-Bear. D-Bear is an S tier by far. D-Bear is, out of everybody here, I think the combat, um, professor when it comes down to the aisle, mostly. Um, I don't follow his, I don't really do what he really does when it comes down to combat that much, what he does, but his videos are really helpful, and in general, I think they're just really, really good and informative. So that's why I would put him there. Also, fantastic guy, very good streamer. Uh, just in general, he's just it's be it's Beaver, and yeah, just a fun guy. You know, fun, charismatic dude. Um, let's see, who else we have here? I'm gonna kind of uh, put the and um, put some people here in their own little categories. I'm gonna put you off to the side because you know you do your own thing. All right. This is what I got. So, I'm gonna put, so as you see, I kind of labeled everyone into their own little categories here. So, let's go for Simone Velocci since they're not really into much of their category. Velocci is the Path of Titans guy. Kind of similar to how um, uh, Isle Updates is the Isle girl, the Isle, the Isle gal, should I say, or Isle ass. Pa uh, um, Velocci is the Path of Titans guy. You want to know anything about Path of Titans, news related, streams, videos, anything, you go to him immediately. You go to him right then and there. So that's why he's an S tier. And also, Jordan is a very nice guy in general. So that's what was into that. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Simo now and let's get him out of the way and then we'll talk about um, the, mus the three musketeer groups here. <laughs> so let's see. All right, S tier for Simo. Actually, mm, S. It's either S or A. I'll put him in A because look, I'll, um, I had had. Some, there is a few things I do want to talk about Simo. Um, Simo, out of a lot of the people out there, and I'm no porcel either. But I think out of a lot of the people I hear, Simo doesn't deliver a lot of promises when it comes down to a lot of things. When it comes down to um, mostly with um, video quality. He says he uploads, never does. And these are just little nitpick things I do have to say about Simo. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't promise a lot of video quality. Um, actually, yeah, the video quality, it's not really that great, just to let you know. Um, the uh, editing is very poor, but that's because mostly he streaming. And I, and I don't think he's that much of a good video editor again no offense to him but i just don't think he is uh but i think he is um out of everyone here i think that simo is um the most dedicated to these uh creators i think out of all of them he has a lot of charisma uh he's as a, 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 what can i speak as i said before he's a very um dedicated streamer he does what he does and he delivers with a lot of prompt, uh, with a lot of really good stuff. His community is, I think out of anyone here, Simo has the best community, the less non-toxic. I do have a couple nitpicks with some of the people in his community, but that's not even, that. but I certainly even talk about any of that stuff at all when it comes down to this, because that's not needed here, obviously. But, and I had had a couple of run-ins with him in the past, when it comes down to many things, but in general, I think that he and I and I spend a lot of time with him. He's a very good friend of mine. But I think he's just a very good, um, he's just a great YouTuber in general. And if you have not checked him out again, go in the description below and check him out. 
because he's fantastic. All right, let's talk about now the three these uh, three trio groups here. We'll first start off with um, the anti post news people. Now, Highlander J72 and Future Cayman are our special case. These three channels were the three that I was not a big fan of when they first made their scenes. The thing about the thing about these guys, they recent they had a weird sort of success. They first started out with really good views, but the only reason why is because they were doing news videos constantly out of and really did not have that same sort of levity or that much as memorability as what um, what even what um, Ravenous or the Isle News or anything like that or even Shadows for that matter cause, and Shadows stopped doing news videos thank fucking god he stopped doing them because he was getting that tier, he was getting that little trio group too but he kind of veered off of that thank goodness but um, and I you know the same with that um, but when it comes down to these three, they exploited it the most, I think, out of anyone here. And I fucking hated that. I hate news videos that really just try and do it for the views. And that's what they really got from these guys. They were doing it for the views. But over time, they kind of grew themselves out of the news business and became more unique, more memorable, more, like, anything you can possibly really imagine, they became more of that. I, and that I think, and that I think, what that's the beauty about all of them. They all really did their part, and they made it really, really memorable. And that's why I think they're much better than they were before. Before, I would put them in the C and D tier. I think all of them are absolutely terrible. Um, but uh, J seventy two was the first one that merely made that impact. J um, started to do I um sort of news videos but then started to do more unique stuff like rankings. He started to do like um discussion videos and everything like that. Like he started to go more into like the general uh, co uh controversy and communication when it comes down to a lot of the aisle uh and Path of Titans and whatever games the other covers. Um and he also started to go to other games too like scrap mechanics which I think that's really really really, really cool. Uh, so I think between these three he goes in the I think out of all them he's the best one. I think he goes in the A tier, uh, and Future Caveman and Islander go into the B tier. I have not seen that much when it comes down to Future Caveman and when it comes down to Islander. When it comes down to Future Caveman, I hear the same exact goddamn Banjo Kazooie theme, which I'm getting tired of at the moment. I it, the good tip from for him, kind of when it comes down to these three, and I'm gonna spend a lot of time talking talk about them. J72, you did a fantastic job of working at your channel. I think. Uh, there should be a little bit more work maybe into editing, um, like, maybe some more editing stuff. But right now, I think, at the moment, you're fine the way how you are. Islander, keep doing what you're doing, you're fine too. Uh, Future Cayman, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I say, though, when it comes into the YouTube, though, Islander and Cayman, kind of have more fun editing your videos. Do some more funny things, maybe. Um, and kind of just grow into more, like, than the generalistic gameplay. Kind of do some more stuff outside of the box maybe kind of what i do because i'm when it comes out of my channel i'm very much a very variety person not trying to suck my own dick here but um <laughs> or you know uh comment myself but uh basically i'm saying like go f have fun with it you know because i think these three have really good potential becoming something much bigger than they are but however though because of that they had did a lot of those news videos their videos and stuff kind of died down and eventually now they're kind of in this state where they don't really know what to do kind of what mine was but i didn't really do do news videos mine just kind of had a fell from grace and then you know slowly are now starting to come back up but other way though good amount of stuff <laughs> that was a lot of talking jeez let's talk now let's talk about these three and then we'll get into me pesky and mozo so Lost Air, MD West, Laurel, and Jin. All three of these channels, Jin and Lost Air, are almost the identical channel. I can't, besides the voice, obviously. When I see these two channels, I think that they're so goddamn similar, it's not even funny. And also, I think they have a lot of character. Obviously, Jin is extremely, extremely quiet uh, and has a very shy personality, which I think is really cool. Um, compared to both of them, that makes it a lot more unique and more uh, memorable. Blasser has been here longer, though, I think, when it comes to, I think, her channel. Um, and she is Finnish, which also makes her more memorable. Um, and 
I do really think though that both these channels are really, really good for what they do, and they send out the message. When it comes down to the aisle and when it comes to the aisle and pot, uh, Lester does it better, I think, because that she does more of because they almost have the same exact endings on, but she does like I think two other different games besides pot. Uh, or only doing pot than what Jin does, but Jin compared to Lost Air does a lot of other games besides um, Things that's a good thing about her channel is she may be very silent But also her variety is very very large when it comes down to her channel She tries new things. She tries a lot of other things, which is one thing I wish Lost Air could do but because let's say uh, Lost Air, goddamn, I keep fucking calling her name wrong uh, But <laughs> I think Lost Air though does a very good job though what she does either way so I think she goes there and Jin goes in uh, the same tier. Wes, though, does also go into the A tier. The reason why is because he kind of has that same generalistic... Well, one, I, whenever I see um, Wes and Las Air's um, uh, logo, I always, for some dumb reason, think... And, and same with even Vlot, she's like, they're all very, very, very similar. And even with b God goddammit, why are they all got so goddamn similar? <laughs> yeah, but they're all very, very similar. Uh, but... I do think though that both those channels, or his channel is very similar to them, but also um, his content compared to both of them, a lot highly edited, a uh, lot more highly edited, a lot more care goes to his content, and he has also just, he's just such a fun charismatic guy, I think in general with a lot of his videos. I think out of a lot of the people who are here, he has the most fun with his content. He very much reminds me of Ace Duo Delirious in a way, where he has like a very es um, esporadic um, content, and also I think his videos are just fantastic, and also, that damn scream is too fucking funny. Same with, uh, a lot of these people here have very good screams. Moe's has a fantastic scream, and Thani has a great, uh, scream. All of them are just fun people, in general. <laughs> but yeah, all very good fun stuff, I think, with all these guys. So I think they go there. And finally, we'll move into the last three. Me, Mr. Mosasaur, and Pesky. I think we'll get me out of the way, so then, uh, we're done with them. I'm going to put myself in A tier, and again, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything like that, but really, I think out of a lot of these people, I have the most variety, but the variety is a double-edged sword because mostly, there's not a lot of stuff unique about me, and there's a dog yelling right now. When it comes down to a lot, when it, um, with uh, my channel... Somebody is this because I as you all know I've been trying to build a lot of things up I've been trying to do enter a lot more unique things like obviously this video the podcast songs music Which kind of the same thing, um, but um, you know other di other different territories uh, And with Century Age of Ashes coming up I have a really f uh, fun videos ideas for that game because that's gonna make me uh, That's what's I'm gonna make that a lot of my personal game when it comes down to a lot of videos but somebody went ahead and described me as the Daco of the Dino Tubers, and I actually see that quite a lot. Um, so really, if I'm going to be the Daco of Dino Tubers, I'm going to try and expand myself into different realms that I haven't really done before, and what other creators haven't done. And that's why I put myself in A tier. Also, just because I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm just, maybe I'm trying to suck my own dick for some dumb reason. But he is the over. But I think. I don't know. I think I belong in the A tier. I don't know. What do you guys think? I I, I, I think so, but otherwise, I don't know. Uh, and then we'll get into Moza and Pesky. Moza, I'm going to go ahead and put... I would put him in S, but I'm actually going to put Moza into A tier. Moza, yeah, out of everyone here, his videos are very memorable, and the reason because... Well, one... I think out of all the personalities and personnel that everyone has here, Moza is the most memorable and standout-ish. He has a very, very fun character to him. His videos are really, really good. Very high quality edited. Just in general, a great channel. The reason why it holds a, why I hold him back though, is because he had a large fall from grace last year and to till now. Uh, last year till now. And the reason why is because oh shit. <laughs> Uh, the reason why is because, uh, out of everyone, Moza, when it comes out a lot of his videos with the Inside the Mind, they really grew, right? They became very large and over, uh, top, over the top. However, though, he lost a lot of views and a lot of um, his viewer base over time because of that. 
and I think that's why he's in A tier, in my opinion. And also the upload schedule, it, I, I I don't want to argue that too much because obviously you can tell that he puts he and his editor put a lot of a lot a lot a lot a lot of time into his videos to make them really good, and that's why which and then that's why I don't want to really give him that much hate. But when it comes down to someone who does uh, which is Vlachi, which is also you know he does very highly edited content as well. But the thing is when it comes to him, um, and same with less what and Wes. They get their videos out more than what Sim, uh, than what uh you know what Moza could do, which is why that I kind of put him in there. Which again, kind of just doesn't make that much sense because you know again Vla and again I understand that Vlachi like post videos like quick like that, uh but I don't know, it's just really weird, really real weird. Otherwise though, I put him in A, and finally Pesky. We'll move into him, and my voice is shot already. <laughs> Pesky, I think out of everyone here. Obviously had all the most um, growth at the one here, when it adds like a quick time fast thing. He's almost at the 30k. Maybe he's at 30k at the point of me recording this video, which is interesting. But I think out of everyone here, Pesky has grown himself to show that to show that people who literally don't know what the fuck they're doing can make really good content. His editing style is very similar to mine. That's me and him almost have the identical uh, editing style. Um, kind of similar to what Vlad, uh, not Vlachi, <laughs> kind of similar to what Los Air and um, Jin have. And the fact that we're both from New Jersey. <laughs> um, but, and also how we fucking shit at all these games, which I think is really funny as well. But um, I think out of a lot of them, a lot of his content is really, really fun. And you can sit down and just enjoy his content without a peep of word, you know? And it doesn't matter how, if you hate him or not, like, you have to say, like, he's iconic for a reason. And that's why I'm gonna give him a good old A tier. The reason why he's not an S tier is because, I don't really know, but there's something about Pesky that makes me not want to put him in S tier. But, again, I'm just gonna say it again. Out of all the channels, he has the most, I think, the fun one, you can just watch him and shut up. Watch him and shut up, and just have fun with him, you know? And that's why he's an A. But again, there is something that is weird that makes me not want to put him in S here. And I think either way, A fits him better. Because again, me, Moza, and me and Moza are with, in the same tier as him. And I think that kind of just might, we're kind of in that kind of same trio build as I was thinking about before. But either way, guys, that is... Oh, I'm, and I guess I'll put Red Kitty and with the same tier that he was in because, you know, just so then there's no way at the bottom. But anyway, guys, that is everyone in... That is all... Okay. But anyway, guys, that is every single person in the Dino Tuber tier list. I want you guys to make sure you have a nice little quick look at this thing before we go ahead and move on. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to hand it back over to the edited Sposky so he can tell, give you guys the outro and everything like that. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. And now, back to myself in the, past, in the, the future future. Thanks, not a edited Ski. So anyway guys, this is the DinoTuber tier list. And hope all of you enjoy this video. It took a long time to make and honestly, it feels really good to finally have this off my chest. Now a lot of people are probably going to be like, well why did you make a video like this? Or why is this even a part of the podcast to begin with that probably is something that no one would even watch? Well, the reason is why is I think the Dinotuber family and podcast is, well, a family of just misfits to bring entertainment to the world of dinosaurs in the community of dinosaurs as a whole. Or more or less as a celebration of dinosaurs, much like how Super Smash Brothers is a celebration of gaming. And I can't give enough to say thank all of these creators for just bringing me in the start of 2020, and it's been one hell of a ride. So again, I want to thank you all for watching this video, and it means the world to me. And if you want to check me out more, you can subscribe or like this video, and you can either follow me on Twitter and Twitch, or join a Discord, whatever you prefer. And finally, I have to thank all the creators again for their tremendous work out so far on everything what they do, and I'll have every single one of their descriptions in, or, and I'll have all their channels uh, links in the description below, so you can check them out there. But I'm gonna head out and do some more script writing, cause at, at this point, 
I'd be doing more of that about for a couple weeks now, and it's getting pretty annoying, but hey, when you're uh, someone who does a lot of these videos and are uh, on the hands of the shackles of YouTube, you kind of have to do what you have to do. So, I'll catch y'all later, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers, fellas.